Welcome back to Ox Tools. I'm Tom. And welcome back to the Project Egress build series. So let's dive into the next part and see what's going on. All right, this is the piece uh, we're starting on next here. Um, this is a like a yoke uh, where it is in the assembly is right here. So it fits around the piece that we just did with this, uh, the spline in it. Um, and it houses, it has a spring-loaded pin here that engages with those little holes there. And then to retract the pin, you pull that yellow, uh, the little yellow plunger there. So this is the lock, I would say this is the lock position. And then there's a 45 degree position that's, I don't know if it's free in that position or not. I haven't looked at it that closely. And then when it's at 90 degrees up, it's like a little, little crank and you open the uh, open the valve there so the way we're doing that um, let's look at the drawing a little closer here it's got this little uh, this little blade sticking up here uh, and that's what engages with these uh, with these slots uh, in that part that's why that has all the slots in it so what we're gonna do is uh, we're gonna machine this out of one piece uh, I got some square stainless here and then what I did was I just drilled a hole at the right uh, center point here in relation to the, the fin here, 276 off the bottom. And uh, what we'll do is we'll put that in the four jaw and we'll pick up on that. And then that puts us on that center there. And Bob's your uncle and off you go. And then uh, there's a lot of work in this little bit too. So let's, uh, let's get cracking. All right, so let's start out by doing this. This will just get us kind of in the neighborhood uh, without too much fussing about. There she goes, I don't want to get too, too close to my mark. All right, now we're small enough. Ooh, boy, it's not looking that good, is it? I have to change my tune there. You know what? I thought this went down to three quarter. Oh, maybe with the copper jaws on it, it doesn't go down that small. All right, uh, plan B. All right, well, we solved that problem. I just took the copper jaws off. I guess I, uh, I don't really... Uh, um, care if I mark up that that particular end since it's uh, uh, gonna get cut off and and scrapped out so I don't really I don't really care about that all right let me snug it down a little bit got to love a four job for this kind of stuff it's uh, really the uh, the hot whammy uh, chuck, I'm telling you, I didn't, I didn't appreciate them uh, for many, many years, and uh, tried to make it work with uh, threes and sixes and stuff like that, and uh, um, it's really this solves so many damn problems. Um, yeah, your basic. Uh, Run out issues to. All right, there we go. Now we're talking. That's a bomb centering there. Splitting hairs. Okay. So there it is. Look at that. That's the stirrup to cut. Looks like it's running out, huh? 
Interesting. I wonder if it uh, settled in or something. I'm going to check it here in a sec. cylinder there. there but uh, it was uh, it, it moved or whatever it settled uh, I'm not sure what but uh, good thing I noticed it so now this is running out but that's okay because this was our, our datum here in this case so let's uh, get back to it so get that to, to uh, Clean up all the way around. That's it. Yep. Time to get off the horse. Oh, yeah. I see why they did that. You know, when you have the little handle and you're spinning, that just takes away those, uh, those corners from your, your hand. So that totally makes sense why they did that.
cut. We're still a little okay. Let's, see. Let's measure the fins there. Yeah. All right, that one's a little thin there. Okay.
fits like that, click 45, click 90. We got a couple little angles on this this nose piece here. So I did one already, but I'm going to do another one here. And it's just a simple eight degrees. Let's put it out here so we can see it better. Make sure that's kind of straight with the world. All right, and this is just an angle blend, basically into that little flat right there. So we're just going to whittle away until that. Uh, kind of uh, the end of the angle lines up with the end of that slot. Okay, make sure the vise is tight. Mr. Bozo. Okay. And I don't want to be too aggressive because those uh, those fins are thin, you know, and if you snag one, you'd be hating life, right? And you see that, I don't know if you can see that, but the line, you know, the angle line fades out, so it's pretty easy to, uh, to get an accurate um, blend there. Magnifiers on now, so I can see what the heck's going on. Okay. Pretty close. Damn good.
right, so there's that one. Okay, and then today we did we did two parts today. Uh, we did this little yoke, which is this little guy right here. Okay, and then we also did this little knobski, uh, this little spinner here. So let's uh, put it together so you guys can kind of get an idea of um, the uh, the function here. Let's see. I think I got this going the right way. Yeah, that goes through there, and then there's you can't see it, but there's a this little pin right here. I'm going to fake it with this pin here that in, engages those little slots there. So we're going to poke that through, and there she goes. And then boom. So that locks that, and then you can retract that, put it up in there, and you can go all the way up, and it goes there. Then all that business. Put the uh, the spinner knob on there. Shoop. So we're looking pretty good, huh? So what's next? Uh, what's next is there's a little, uh, it's kind of hard to see here, there's that little black speck in there is a little cap um, that, that, that threads into the end here. Um, you see it's threaded there and it's going to thread into the end of that and have this uh, pin bore in it. Um, it stabilizes the other end of that rod and there's a spring inside there and then, then we'll do this little this cute little yellow knob. So, all right, moving along. Lots of little parts, and uh, yeah, I'm pleased with how that came out. So, uh, uh, let's keep going.